everyone, this is Vicki from Musty Table Studio. I am here today with a impromptu printing video because of these. They are foam and I was working on a baby afghan with Oh My yarn, which is way beyond soft. It is, oh, it's inexplicable. It's so soft. Um, and the yarn, and I did not realize this till I started unwinding it, was wound around these two foam circles that they, I guess they, oh, they're pinned together. Or st oh, nope, they're stapled together. I see them now. I don't know what country they come from, but I've, I've had this yarn probably 10 or 15 years. Oh, there's staples in that one. And I've, it's the first time I've ever used it. So um, I want to print with this. So I think I'm going to do some printing. Let me go get the jelly plate because I was thinking about, you know, squirting stuff right here. I don't know if that... Uh, I don't know. I th well, okay. Pfft. It's a mess and we'll just deal with it, right? Okay, so I have this really cheap acrylic paint and honestly, I don't really care that it's cheap. I have my Japanese tracing paper here. Whoops. And... I'm going to squirt some of this stuff so you can see. Yeah, you'll be able to see it here. All right, I'm going to squirt some of this if I can get it open over here. And I'm going to take my roller, which I have to get up and go get. And there we go. That'll get me started, right? Oh, what a mess we will make. Oh, hmm. This did not turn out the way I thought it would, so I may have to get the jelly plate because it's not absorbing. I mean, it's not taking the acrylic paint like I thought it would. Oh my. Okay, that was an unexpected result or non result. So totally awesome. Okay, so I think I, ooch, man, can't press down in that spot right there because that's where those little staples are, little boogers. Those hurt. Alrighty, so how cool is that? All right, so let me go get a jelly plate. I think my paint will do much better on a jelly plate. Okay, so I cleaned up the black paint and I have a little five by seven over here on the side. Let's try this. So that the paint's on here a lot thicker than it was on the just the glass. Oh my, that's much better. I think that this is better on the jelly plate than it was on the glass mat. Or maybe I just didn't use enough paint on the glass mat when I did it. Let me roll it again. Oh, I am loving this. So, I wanted to test it. What my idea was is to put a color on the background and then do these black circles on it and then more after that. Oh, I like this. This is cool. I want to do it off the edge, but I got to find something that will catch it off the edge without going all over the. How about we put two pieces together like that? Whoops, nope. More paint. Walk, walk. Do it like that. Come on. You know you want to do it. Oh, yeah. That's very cool. I like that. And then let's do it this way. I wanted to try to f do it with the whole. Oh, that is so. I am so excited. I think maybe. The key is to mash it down really well. 
and then not let it stick to the other sheet. <laughs> How's that? I love the way that looks. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to take some, well, maybe I could, no, I can't do it on this one because it's already got the black on it. Although, I don't think that should matter. So let me, let me do this here. And I will pick up the black on the deli paper. Oh, it's going to do a lot. Oh, it's really heavily painted. So it's not going to pick it up all the way. Plus, I got to let it dry a little bit, I guess. So let's do the other half. And make another panel black. Oh, it's getting better and it's leaving a really cool textured look to it too. All right, so then I'm going to do something on top of these, but I got to let it dry. All right, so now we need another piece of uh, scissors. Okay. See what happens when you put stuff away? You cannot find it. And... Cut these in half because they're about the same size as a 5x7 jelly plate. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half so I get more bang for the buck. Alright, maybe not if I can't cut them. <laughs> There's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so. I want to use color on these, so I have to wait for this one to dry. And then I want to use color. What I'm going to do is I want to do a colored background. Oh my. Ugh. I'm going to do this on top of that. Wow, that's a lot of paint. So that the blue will show through. And I don't care if it's not neat. It's cool if it's not neat. Let's put this on here. So right now, I guess basically what I'm doing is just the backgrounds. Let's see what's going to pick up. Oh, not a lot. Not a lot of the black. Okay, so... We're doing it again, yay! Let's see. Let's do it on the non-waxy side. And see, since it's had time to dry a tad. I want to rub it really well because I'd really like for it to pick up more than what it did in the last print. As much as I like grungy, oh yes, this is fabulous. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oops. If I can get it off of there. Look at that one. Yay! All right, let's try this one more time. Only this time I'm going to go over it with the um, brayer one more time because this is all leftovers and I don't want to waste it. And this will be on the waxy side of the deli paper. And then I think what I will do is I will put some kind of ink on the jelly plate and then stamp this let's see what we get oh this is even better than the last one look at that oh sorry i guess i don't have my light turned the right way there we go so that's not too shabby huh Okay, so we did this. Oh, we're running out of room. I usually have my clothesline up so that I can put stuff on it. All right, so this blue, let's do, not that, let's do this one. And let's 
do red. So I'm going to do red on the jelly plate. And I'm going to spread it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back side, well, I can do the front, to the front side of this and mash it on the jelly plate. Yes, I know I'm out of frame. I can hear you saying it. Look at that. And then do it this way. So it picks up even more of the red. There we go. And then I'm going to take it and print it on there. And it only gives a little bit of color. That's okay. too bad for something that I wasn't expecting, huh? I didn't expect to find foam underneath my um, yarn that I thought was a complete ball, and it's not. It's kind of false advertising there. All right, so there's that one. Now I'm going to take... Oops. I'm going to take this piece and put it on the red and pick up this. Hopefully this will make another lovely print. Okay. Look at that. I kind of like that. All right, so let me take this and run it over this. Let's put some white. I know that seems a little counterintuitive to put white, but thinking that I might get some really good color variations. Now, I'm going to get my hands all nasty. Well, let me do it this way. And this comes off of here. I wonder if it'll show on the black. Let's try it on the black. as a print for the white. Nope, does not show, but makes a great print here. Not so good for my hands. And we need a piece of deli paper. So, I probably did not get enough paper out. I could do this on top of the black one, but no. Okay, so I'm gonna just do it on this and see what comes up on the other side. Well, not as much white as I thought would be on there. That's um, very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna move my jelly plate over here and I'm gonna take my white paint. And I'm gonna, I am gonna put this white on white. I'm going to kind of roll it a little bit thick on here. What I ought to do is roll it right onto the foam, huh? Let's do it on top of the black foam. Nope, that's not going to go well. So let's abandon that one and let's try this. Come on. You know you want to do it. Change the shape of it a little bit by mashing it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm loving that. All right, let's squirt some more white on here. This is very inexpensive black, I mean white paint. Came in a set that I bought at some place that's sort of like TJ Maxx when I was in Austin. All my stuff's going to stick together if I don't separate it. Voila. Let me move this out of the way. 
All right, so I'm going to roll the white on here again and get it ready. Oh, I think that's very cool. I love black and white. And I'm going to, I may either keep this hole because there's no seam in the middle or cut in the middle and I might um, or I could cut this here because I can see where the second print was because it's like five by seven five by seven Oh, that looks so cool. I am so excited this turned out so well. Okay, so I'm only going to do right up to here because I want something on the corners. There we go. Look at that. All right, since I'm wiping up the paint and I'm wiping it off of my roller, might as well put some of else on here. Now I'm wondering if I use, oh, that makes it gray. I'm wondering if I use alcohol inks, how this would turn out. Let me make sure I get some kind of an impression. Well, I did, but it's not what I was hoping for. Okay, so let's go this way. I think what I'm doing is just squeezing all the paint out of there. All right, there we go. So there. Here we are, that is that one. And there's the gray, white with the red and black. Okay, these are very damp. I need to hang these up to dry. This one is feeling a little crunchy. It's starting to dry. This one is sticking to the other one. So we need to take that apart. All right, this is very wet still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna hang these up and I'll be right back. Okay. Cleaned up a little bit, except for not my hands. Um, got some white copy paper, cleaned off this. Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I did clean this though. There we go. And this is still icky. I'm gonna have to run this under water in the sink so it's not, I can use it again if I want to. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my distress inks. Uh, no, not there. I got a box full of inks the other day and it's just a copious amount. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some of these. Uh, what color? Current. I'm thinking that might be kind of a purpley color. All right. Black current. Oh, well, maybe it's a black. I don't know. Oh, it's not looking like a color color. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's try this. It is black. I didn't think about black current. Still looks cool, though. I still like it. It's alcohol ink which I rarely use. I just thought maybe this would give a different look. Let me squeeze a little bit more on here.
I don't think if I think that if you mash down you get a better print of it. Sort of like a homemade foamy, huh? Only not as good a quality and not really much of a design. I bet this goes through to the thing. <gasps> oh yes it did. <laughs> oh yes it did. All right, let's clean this up a tad and make ourselves another little doodah. Since we've already messed up the mat below. There we go. Okay, not thrilled, but you know, it's an experiment. All right, so let me clean up. Where are the wipes? I had them a minute ago. Let me clean this stuff off. Oh, it's red. Look at that. Oh, it's a deep red. Okay, red currants, not black. Well, that's just stinking interesting. All right, so now I, I, uh, 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 I want to lick my fingers to get the paper apart, and then I think, well, maybe not today. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh my, that's really a lot of liquid on there. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this paper is probably not the ideal paper for this. I have Yupo paper, and I have some onion skin and tracing paper, and um, vellum. So I think those papers might be a little more well suited to this. I don't know. And now this is dried on here, so will it come off? Yes, thank goodness. Okay. So this was red currant, not black. When I think of currants, all I can think of is jelly, jam, from Ikea. <laughs> all right, so these two are not what I was expecting. What is this? This is the, this is Adirondack currant. So one of the bottles exploded. Terracotta, no. What's this one? Espresso, that's a brown. Meadow. Oh, I'm wondering if this will be green. Um, I'm trying to think of what kind of paper. Maybe I should get the Yupo paper. Uh, let me go get a stencil. Wait, is there one here on the desk? Wait, there's one here already. Never mind. I got this as a gift for Christmas. So I might as well whip this baby out. No time like the present to make it as filthy as possible. And I think what I've seen other people do is take the stencil, lay it on here, and then roll the ink on the stencil. Is that what I've seen? Shoot, I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, guys, oh, this is green. Oh, shoot, I should have done this with the current. Okie doke. Well... Pull this up. Oh, that looks cool. And then I'm going to press this down on here to get the impression. Let me move this over, put the lid on this before I get dumb and spill it. Clumsy. Oh, there we go. Well, not what I expected, but hey, you know what? It's dirty now, it's been broken in. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to put. something on top of it, but I'm wondering, should I let it... Oh, that's outstanding. 
Oh, I like this color. You know, green's my thing. Okay, so I'm wondering if I put this on it. What, you see my head? Okay, no. I'm blowing. All right, I'm wondering if this is going to ruin it. You know, if we don't try, we will never learn. So let's just, oh, yep, it's going to make a mess of it. No, well, maybe not. I think maybe I should have waited a little longer. Uh, let me get a piece of paper here. See how this is going to come out. I think I need to watch some more of Peg Robinson's videos on alcohol inks. This is a new animal for me. Well, it left a lovely impression. Oh, I like the I like the way it looks, but not what I was expecting. So, let's try, where's the black current? <laughs> the current, the current situation. All right, let's try the current. Let's see how we try this again. Okay, maybe it'll do better. Oh, heck yeah, let's try this. I think what I'm going to need to do is let the ink dry on here. There we go. Yay! Let's let the ink dry on here for a little bit. And then we can see what we're going to get. I'm going to use a roll-off paper here. It's really a lot of ink. Maybe I don't need to use as much because look what it, it's like soaked completely through. I mean, it's, there you go. Talk about ghost print. <laughs> All right, so there's my roll off of this. It's still a little stained. I don't think there's anything a baby wipe can't conquer. Or a wet paper towel with maybe oxypropyl alcohol sprayed on it or some kind of a stamp cleaner type stuff. I try to be very conscious to keep these things as, much, as clean as I can. I don't always succeed, but I really do try. All right, there's that. Okay, I'm going to go and get the dryer and dry this off. I had to go get my real hair dryer out of the bathroom because it has a low, cool setting on it. And that's what I used instead of the heat gun. All right, so now I need some white paint. Where's the white? Here we go. And I hope I blow dried it enough, although I'm not sure I did. <gasps> oh, this makes me nervous. Oh, nope. Way too smeary. Okay, so we're going to have another nondescript background. <laughs> All right, let's try this. All right, while it sits there a minute, I'm going to roll off this and add a little more interest to this page here instead of that big blob of current red in the middle. That'll make a nice background for a book cover or something. Who knows? All right. Oh, 
I'd like to say a prayer, please let this turn out. No. Nope. Two blobs. But it still looks interesting, but it's not what I was looking for. So let us try this again. Because the alcohol ink is a little wet still on the outskirts of the flower, I'm going to use that with the white to kind of blend it in. Where's my roll-up paper? Here we go. More interest for this paper. Wrong color. Nope. Not doing that there. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, a die cut. A die. I was cutting snowflakes for my Christmas book. And set the dies aside, and now one of them's on to flow. Okay, let me dry this with the dryer again. Okay, so I peeled it off, and I think this time we're going to get a better result. Let me roll this over here. Don't want to waste it, even if it was free paint. All right, let's see what we got here. Nothing. <laughs> okay, that was clearly not what I was expecting. Okay. Let's put some white in the background. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to be the blind leading the blind channel. Only I'm both the blind people in this thing, I think. All right, so I got another piece of paper here. Somewhere in all of this. Maybe not. I can't lick my fingers to undo the papers because I'm covered in ink. I don't want to overroll it because I like that marbled look. So let's do this and see what pops up. I think impatience is what does me in for these things. I should let them dry a little longer, but I did use the dryer on it. That might be why when I rolled on it, I didn't get anything off of it. Okay. Well... I'll be. Look at that. You can kind of see them. I'm wondering if I did more white on them again. I think maybe this will be better, a better lift. I need to be doing something else today. I don't need to be doing this. <laughs> I have spring cleaning to finish. I need to take all my curtains down and wash them. And I'm not talking about spring cleaning for 2022. I'm talking about 2019. Just saying. <laughs> when you're behind, you're behind, right? Yabba dabba doo, it did not work. Okay, so there's that. Although I do like the muddled look, but I think I need a darker color for the background. Let's try red. What the hey? We're already knee deep. Might as well go all the way up to the neck. Right? Go big or stay home. I 
All right. Nope, did not work. Interesting, but did not work. Okay, let's see, what can we do to improve this? We could stop. <laughs> <laughs> we could absolutely stop. All right. Well, that, my friends, was a bust. <laughs> Okie doke. You know, sometimes things just do not turn out the way you think they will. And that's a big mess. <laughs> but it did clean up the plate a bit, didn't it? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to peel some of this off and see if I can get some of the paint off the plate. Although it does look interesting, it has little painty bits, but not the results I was looking for at all. Okay, so here we are <laughs> with a big old hole in our paper. <laughs> okay, that did not go well. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to hang these papers up. We're going to go watch a video on how not to do these things. And then maybe another day we'll come back when I know some more. You know, knowledge is a dangerous thing. Um... And then I will come back and try to make something that looks halfway decent other than ripped paper and <laughs> a big old mess. <laughs> okay, come on, y'all. You know this happens to you. You know that things don't always turn out the way they show on camera. They've done them 50 times before you see it. Okay, five times. All right, two or three. But it doesn't always turn out the first time, does it? I'm going to cry if somebody says yes. Please do not leave me that comment. <laughs> it will totally wreck my whole day. All right, guys. So this is it for me for today. Um, I'd like to say I enjoyed this, but not necessarily. I don't think the word enjoy is um, necessarily how I've described this. Mostly just messy. And it was a learning event. It wasn't a failure. I did learn something from it. I learned. I have no idea what I'm doing. I need to watch more of Peg Robinson's videos. Alrighty then. Talk to you guys later after I clean all this up. Bye.